Civil 3D alignments and profiles maintain a dynamic relationship. Now, this relationship isn't just about geometry, it also applies to labels. In this session, we'll look at a way to label an alignment using information from an associated profile. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a proposed roadway design. Let's zoom in and we'll take a quick tour. First, I'll hover over the alignment. We can see this is called Main Street. This was used to create a corridor model called Main Street. I also have some entities up here representing right-of-way and lot geometry. If we pan the drawing up, we can see the profile data for Main Street. I have a sampled surface profile called Main Street EG for existing ground, and I have a finished grade profile called Main Street FG. If I pan this over, we can see that the finished grade profile includes a high point at approximately station 7 plus 5, 5. And if I pan this back, we can see that the finished grade profile includes a low point here at station 1 plus 70. Now, this station is important. When I defined my finished grade profile, I set it such that that low point would coincide with this lot line. And I've labeled it, so you don't have to take my word for it. That lot line is at station 1 plus 70. This way, when I place an inlet to capture the water, I can be certain that the inlet is not going to be coinciding with somebody's driveway. The issue that I have is now that I've done this, if somebody were to go back and edit this profile, I have no way of knowing if this low point continues to be strategically located with respect to my property lines. Wouldn't it be nice if I could display my profile high and low points as part of my alignment labels? Fortunately, I can do that. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by pressing Ctrl-Z to put things back the way they were. And then I'm going to zoom in on the alignment, and I will select it. I'll right-click, and from the menu I'll choose Edit Alignment Labels. This brings up the Alignment Label Set. Over here we can see the various components that this label set is labeling. We can see major stations, minor stations, horizontal geometry points, and station equations in the event I had some. I'm going to open this menu in the upper left. From here, I'll choose Profile Geometry Points. I can then select a label style. Now, I've not yet defined a label style for profile type labels, so I'm just going to select the standard one, and then we'll come down and click Add. When I do, Civil 3D says, which profile would you like to label? I'm going to open the menu, and we can see the respective profiles here. I'll choose Finished Grade. I can then come down and select the geometry points that I'd like to label. I'm going to click the deselect button to clear these, and for this example, I would just like to label the low and high points. Just pay note to the other options that we have. Come back and explore these when you get a chance. Explore some of the label style possibilities that are also available when you get a chance. For now, I'm going to click OK and OK. When I do, you can see that I now have a label displaying here at the low point. And if I drag this down, I also have a label that corresponds to the high point of my profile. And let me press Escape to deselect my alignment. In the future, if somebody was to edit my profile geometry, I will see the locations of the high and low points update in real time. So the next time you're working on a linear design, remember the dynamic relationship between Civil 3D alignments and profiles. With just a couple clicks of the mouse, valuable profile information can easily be added to the labels placed along an alignment. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by following the URL listed below.